Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. So today, guys, I'm so excited. I've been working for this and uh, I finally have a portable laptop and uh, I have a Surface laptop, but something like a Mac. I have Windows, but I've always wanted a MacBook. Today, we have the MacBook Air, brand new 2020. It has an Intel i5 quad core processor with 1.1 gigahertz, a eight gigabyte RAM stick of DDR4X RAM. That is new because the old ones had DDR3 RAM, 512 gigabyte SSD. This is going to be perfect for what I do, 1080p editing and some 4K with my drum. So yeah, let's unbox this. So they make it pretty simple. Let's pull that, you know, and everybody likes to smell this. I don't smell anything, but yeah. Actually, I think it might be the actual Mac they smell, but yeah, so you can just let go. There it is, guys. This, that looks so cool. Wow, that is really thin. So yeah, the thing I think everybody smells is this. It doesn't smell pleasant. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, uh, this is the USB-C cable. It's one meter, and you have uh, then you have your brick. It kind of is equivalent, it's very small, it kind of is equivalent to the normal brick that comes with the iPad, that used to come with the iPad, and uh, yeah, so it's USB-C to USB-C, yep, so that's that, and uh, everybody freaks out about this too, because I've been watching a lot of videos before I purchased this. <laughs> Space gray Apple stickers, those things actually look pretty sick. Yeah. This video is going to be fully edited on the MacBook Air. I am going to test out Final Cut Pro because I have not used that in a while. I'll show you the setup. Okay, so I've cleared everything away. So now I'm going to open up the lid. It has this paper film. Just tear that off and it turns right on. That looks really cool screen. Yeah, this is a really cool laptop the way they have everything designed. This is Apple, so you know everything is very, you know, quality. That's how they make stuff and that trackpad is very nice. Keys are very nice. So yeah, let me select all of this stuff and I'll tune you back in when I am closer to not putting in person. Calm down. When I'm putting on personal stuff and then I'll put it right. Alright, so I've got through all of the personal information. They pretty much make everything pretty easy. They do thumbprint, which is right here, touch print, finger ID, whatever you want to call it. And then you have the new inverted T keys, so they're they're just right there. They're not all filling up. New magic keyboard, force touch trackpad, and pretty much everything that everybody asked for. We have louder speakers, which I'll show you guys once I get it all, you know, set up. And we have the new quad core i5. Wow, that wallpaper is pretty cool. So yeah, we have the new quad core i5, and this is going to be amazing for normal video editing with Final Cut because this computer is optimized for Final Cut. But I'm going to even push Premiere, and they said you can run Premiere, so I'm going to run Premiere. And uh, yeah, so um, let me get a few more things set up, and then uh, we'll do some video editing tests. Okay, so real quick before I get all of that. I'm going to open this magic mouse with what I do not know because this does not have a pool tab. Okay, so I've cut it with some scissors. Anyway, so I figured I'm going to match Space Gray. I got the Space Gray version, as you guys can see. So I got the Space Gray mouse. This thing's a little overpriced, but I figured I guess I'll go all out. I have stuff on here already for some reason, so that's there. Um, so yeah, this mouse looks pretty cool. It's all black on the front, space gray on the back. No batteries, don't have to worry about that because it is chargeable through a lightning connector. Do they give you a lightning connector? They give you a black lightning connector. I do not have one of these. Even this thing is black on here. That is sick. Um, it's not like, I mean, that is cool. Everything's space gray, black. This looks, I mean, they've, they've done a good job this year with all this stuff. So yeah, let me do a few more things on the computer and then uh, we will do some video editing tests. Okay guys, so 
the speakers on this is crazy. I'm not gonna play any music because I'll get copyrighted, but I will. We have gone. I mean, Apple Watch Series Three. It is surround is when you're terrible. in the middle. Is the Apple Watch Series Three available? It's really loud. 2020. I mean, let's get on with the video. So yeah, that is what that is about. And I mean, this laptop is just crazy thin. I mean, look at this. I'm pretty sure it's like a centimeter and a half at its thickest point. Might even, I mean like when you're including it comes down at the bottom. And, and it's just a very lightweight laptop and it is perfect because I launched Final Cut Pro and uh, it runs really well. And uh, I mean, here, I'll show you this real quick. So I'm launching Final Cut Pro right now. I love that wallpaper. I picked the day version. So yeah, look how fast that loaded. It was instant. I mean, this thing is crazy. It is a 1.1, uh, 1.2 actually gigahertz quad core i5 processor. I mean, this thing is just crazy fast. I love it. Yeah, it's a 1.1 gigahertz quad core Intel Core i5 processor, eight gigabytes of 3,733 megahertz of DDR4 RAM. That is equivalent on DDR3 RAM, probably like 32, and I mean, that's just crazy, and yeah. So I bought the 512 gigabyte, that is the one that you can do in quad core processor, and the space gray, and I got the space gray magic mouse, which I synced, and with this black little cable they give you, they say to plug it into the Mac, but it's USB-C. So luckily, this is the fast way to pair it. Luckily, I had a adapter from USB-C, to type A, just plug that in, plugged it in, and it here. And this thing looks amazing too with the space gray and the black. So yes, this is a very cool product. Uh, I would highly recommend it. It'll definitely help me edit when I'm not on with this on the go. And yes, that is what this video has been about. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, not trying to brag, but if you guys are looking into buying these two, this is $1,300 it costs $1,390 itself and then this costs $95 on Amazon I both bought both of these on Amazon and uh, it was it was an Amazon Prime box and an Apple box because this came from Apple and then I guess they sent it to Amazon in Jacksonville Florida so that is where it came from and yeah so all of this is probably around $1,450 and uh, it's pretty much a on-the-go desktop setup I mean for this thing being this thin it can edit 1080p really good which is what I do most of the time I do 4k with drones and uh, it even edits 4k decent so this is a really good computer on a budget I mean if you, and I wouldn't buy MacBook Pro right now because they still have that butterfly keyboard this has a magic keyboard and uh, you just be clacking so <laughs> anyway uh, be sure to subscribe leave a like and turn on your post notifications and yeah I'll see you guys on the next one Peace out.